okay now the alkali metals have one electron in the s orbital of their valency shell alkali metals are having the only one electron in the s orbital of their valency shell valency shell is a s orbital in that s orbital it is having the one electron this indicates the this indicates the that these elements belong to s block of the periodic table valency shell electron in s orbital that indicates the these elements are belongs to s block of the periodic table the alkali metals show a marked similarity and gradation in their properties okay for suppose general electronic configuration general electronic configurations are same i will discuss about the electronic configuration okay here first point is a uh, the alkali metals have one electron the alkali metals have one electron one electron in the s orbital of their valency shell in the s orbital of their valency their valency shell their valency shell so valency shell in s orbital one electron is there this indicates the that these elements belong to s block of periodic table this indicates this indicates that these elements are this indicates that these elements are belong to belongs to belongs to s block of the periodic table s block of the periodic table s block of the periodic table the alkali metals their general electronic uh, the alkali metals show the marked similarity and gradation in their properties okay here alkali metals have one electrons in the s orbital alkali metals have one electron in the s orbital of their valency shell this indicates the elements are belong to s block of the periodic table okay once we have to check the electronic configuration of alkali metals the electronic configuration of electronic configuration of alkali metals alkali metals okay first element is a lithium generally when we are writing the electronic configuration we can write the general formula with the noble gas elements generally group 1 elements electronic configuration is noble gas and ns1 noble gas ns1 what is the noble gas what is the ns1 i will discuss okay here just you have to listen here where n is equal to here ns1 is there here this n is equal to 2 to 7 2 to 7 n value is a 2 to 7 okay i will i will discuss about that now you have you have to see the elements which elements first year group elements elements and a symbol already you know the symbol and atomic number atomic number electronic configuration and electronic configuration and another column also there relative abundance okay how much relative abundance is there i will write the that column also relative abundance abundance okay relative abundance see see this table 
here elements is a symbol is there atomic number is the electronic configuration is relative abundance first element is a lithium in this group first element is a lithium what is the symbol of lithium li what is the atomic number of lithium 3 okay now electronic configuration 3 atomic number is a 3 in this 3 electrons is there how can we write the electrons generally we can write the electronic configuration 1s2 2s1 in the ninth class also in the foundation class you, you know the how to write the electronic configurations in basic classes also i discussed with you but here with noble gas how can we write the electronic configuration here total number of electrons is a 3 valency electron is a that is a s orbital having one electron just we have to write the with uh, noble gas noble gas is a helium helium atomic number 2 helium is a 2 then remaining s orbital having one electron this is a second level s orbital helium 2s1 this is a electronic configuration with noble gas okay lithium is atomic number 3 helium already two electrons helium atomic number 2 remaining one electron in a s orbital 1s2 helium electronic configuration is a 1s2 1s2 instead of 1s2 i am writing the helium why i am writing the helium with noble gas because here two electrons is there two electrons means which is which element two electrons means atomic number two helium that's why helium 2s1 with noble gas simply i am writing with noble gas otherwise you can write the like this 1s2 2s1 also we have to write the electronic configuration this is also correct and this is also correct just your, under, uh, your knowledge I am telling with the noble gas. Okay. 1s2, 2s1 or helium, 2s1 also correct electronic configuration. And uh, last column is a uh, relative abundance. Relative abundance is a uh, 35. Relative abundance. Relative abundance means generally lithium we can obtain in the uh, from the nature that is a uh, 35 percent. And sodium next element is a sodium sodium already you know the symbol and atomic number symbol also you know atomic number also then. and what about the electronic configuration with noble gas and normal with noble gas here how many electrons is there atomic number 11 means 11 electrons is there okay with noble gas noble gas 10 which element 10 noble gas that is a neon so that's why we can write the neon 3s1 that's why we can write the neon 3s1 abundance is a 7 how can we write the neon already i told i explained here 1s2 2s2 2p6 up to 2p6 it is a, a neon then 3s1 next uh, electron is enter into the 3s1 next uh, sodium after potassium sodium after potassium sodium after potassium potassium symbol is a k potassium symbol is a k atomic number of potassium is a 9 atomic number of potassium is a 19 sorry 19 when you are writing the electronic configuration with noble gas 18 first helium then after neon neon after argon argon 4s1 argon 4s1 relative abundance is a uh, 8 here potassium is a uh, atomic number 19 and electronic configuration is a uh, argon 4s1 relative abundance is a uh, 8 and next after potassium rubidium is there rubidium symbol is rub rubidium symbol rb rubidium rb okay what is the rubidium atomic number 37 rubidium atomic number 37 after argon which element is there noble gas is xenon xenon 5s1 5s1 relative abundance of 23 relative abundance 23 after rubidium cesium is there cesium cesium symbol cs atomic number of cesium is 55 
now here first helium neon argon sorry here krypton krypton not xenon argon krypton kr symbol is a kr krypton 5s1 next cesium is a xenon then increasing shell 6s1 here 1 2s1 here 3s1 here 4s1 5s1 6s1 once you have to observe from the top to bottom shells are increasing these are the shells 3 4 5 6 these are the shells okay relative abundance is a 46 46 and last element is a friendship last element is a friendship Francium symbol is FR. Francium symbol is FR. Atomic number is JT7. Atomic number is JT7. Here xenon is there. After xenon, radon. Radon symbol RN. One shell will be increased. Seven S one. Seven S one. Okay. Seven S one. this is a francium is radioactive element this is a very rarely we can obtain okay that life span also very small once you have to observe just now at the starting i told where is n is equal to 2 to 7 2 to 7 means here from the two last electron enter into the shell 7 to second shell to the seventh shell so which is the last orbital in this first year group elements s orbital is the last orbital that's why it is a s block in the periodic table these indicate these elements are belong to s block of the periodic table so this is about the electronic configurations of alkali metals okay thank you